Before you start to write, just stop for a minute and just assess the overall picture and think, what is it that is really valuable about this that I'm going to write about, and what is it that is really interesting? My name is Bill Bryson. I am a writer. It's an instinct to share amazing information. If you were just going about the course of your business, if, if you came across some amazing fact, you would want instantly to communicate that to someone else. I think that science is just fundamentally amazing. There isn't a single fact that isn't remarkable. I mean, just, you know, if you just consider the, the most elemental things, that we exist, that's amazing. You know, we exist. Uh, we, you know, I can get up and move around and I can, you know, I'm sentient. I can think, I can talk, I can do all kinds of things. Um, you know, that wall can't do it. Lots and lots of matter cannot, cannot do it, cannot communicate, cannot experience existence, and yet we can. And yet we take that completely for granted. What drew me to write about science was that I had this conviction that although I had been a terrible student of sciences in school, I was certain that there must be some level at which even I can engage with science. And that was the idea behind my book, was I'm going to go out and see what I can find out about science and what I can find out that, you know, that, that appeals to me, that is relevant to me. When I, when I did a short history of nearly everything, I, I didn't really think about it before I started. Because what I, the task I set myself was that, you know, I, I, my boundaries were the fact that there was this, you know, there was this event that caused a universe to come into existence, and then there's us here now. And really the book is, well, what happened? How did that happen? How did we get from that thing uh, to that, that event that started the universe to us here now? It's quite, it's quite a lot of ground to cover. The only way I was able to do it was by getting a lot of very patient help from a lot of, a lot of scientists and academics who were otherwise extremely busy. Just because something is important doesn't mean that people are going to read it. You have to, to be interesting. And, and that means, you know, using all different kinds of devices. The one thing that I looked for all the time was human interest stories. The, um, something that's neglected in textbooks is you, you know, you learn all about what Einstein did or what Newton did, but what you don't learn is what amazing, remarkable human beings they were and, what, and, and the story of, of Newton's life, for instance, and, and what a kind of crazy guy he was. Those are things that, that get left out of textbooks, and yet they really, really are a very helpful way of getting into the subject. There's a lot of written material in the world, and, and asking people to give up any amount of time to read what you've written is, is quite a big request. There's lots else they could be reading, lots else they could be doing with their time altogether. You have an obligation to, to, to try to entertain them and as well as instruct them. <laughs>